ABC 10 News Pinpoint Weather Super 7 Day Forecast. And as we uh, enter the last Friday of 2022, a lot of us are waking up mostly cloudy and pretty cool across the board. Here's a live picture right now from our Mount Soledad camp in La Jolla. Uh, currently, we're waking up a little warmer in comparison to yesterday, especially along the foothill and mountain neighborhoods. Current temperatures, lots of scattered 50s. We're a little warmer in areas like La Jolla, currently tracking 55 degrees. IB, same temperature and close to 60 already in downtown National City and in Chula Vista. Well, good morning. Mission Valley. Here's a look at your hour by hour forecast. Again, temperatures will remain cool in the 50s, at least through the noon hour, and they won't spike up by much. In fact, this afternoon, most areas along the coastal and inland communities will be in the upper 50s, low 60s, and then tomorrow, comparable temperatures as well. The low pressure system that brought us beneficial rainfall Tuesday night and Wednesday morning has moved well to the east, now saturating the eastern portion of the country, but we're now keeping our eye on this storm right here. It's going to dip a little south, tapping in to subtropical moisture, also known as an atmospheric river, and that's what's going to bring us some heavy rainfall looking ahead to your New Year's Eve. So we'll start to see showers as early as tomorrow morning. This is all ahead of the heavy rain. It will be fairly light, but just make sure that you could run into pockets of uh, shower activity, depending on where you are tomorrow morning, especially if you have to travel, just plan ahead. And then it looks like the brunt of the storm arrives overnight. So right as the clock strikes midnight is when we'll see some of the heaviest rain. This could cause some minor flooding. So if you live in an area that's prone to flooding, make sure that you prepare today while it's dry. Coastal areas this afternoon will be in the low 60s as we roll out your hour by hour forecast will remain rather mild throughout the day. But then once we get towards the sunset hours, we'll creep pretty close to the mid to low 50s around the eight, nine o'clock hour. And then in time for your New Year's Eve, if you have any events, perhaps you're headed to the gas lamp around eight, nine o'clock will be fairly mild in the mid to upper 50s and then we'll dip to the mid 50s. But it will be wet, so make sure that you are dressing for wet weather. Also, do not drink and drive. We can't emphasize that enough. There are plenty of options, including rideshare programs and public transportation. A lot of them are running free for folks. Inland areas will be in the low 60s. When all is said and done by Sunday afternoon, we're looking at pretty impressive rain totals. Some areas could get about two inches of rain, including some of the mountain neighborhoods, and then about an inch and a half for a lot of the inland valleys. This will be an impressive storm. We'll get about double the amount of rain than we did earlier this week. Mountain areas mid to upper 40s and then we cool down on Sunday for the entire county. Deserts will be in the 70s. They'll stay in the 70s through Saturday and then drop down to the 60s by Sunday. Jared. Thank you, Vanessa. The entertainment industry gave us a lot to talk about in 2022. This morning, Jason Nathanson takes a look back at some of the pop culture moments that popped 